there fellow viewer my name is Gabriel and today I'm here to talk to you about Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. You've probably seen this book around it's been really talked about lately I really wanted to join in the discussion sharing my opinion on this novel I had been highly anticipating Red Queen I thought it was a fantastic debut novel for this author so Red Queen is set in a dystopian society where you are categorized by the color of your blood the red-blooded people are normal human beings you and me the regular Joes you know however the silver blooded the ones who rule over the reds possess special abilities that enhance their physicality their speed their control over the elements this is the reason I was so interested in this book this idea in this society where we have this group of people that is stronger and more powerful than the regular people how exactly the society played out let's just say that the society was not pleasant for the red-blooded people you honestly feel really shocked at how the silvers treat the reds because they're people the these are people dealing with other people it's kind of sad how they do that our protagonist Mirabarrow is in fact a red one day however in a very specific set of conditions and ambience she discovers that that she as well possesses abilities. Now, this alone really intrigued me. This alone made me really want to read the book. The highlight for me was definitely the world constructed in the novel. I just thought the world was really well constructed. I think Miss Aveyard wrote it expertly, describing really well the precarious conditions that the Reds live in, in contrast to the really luxurious way of life that the Silvers led. I just felt like this was the biggest element to me in this world. One of the other things that I found myself loving in this novel was the, the threat to society thing that we have going on. As mentioned before, Mir has special abilities even though she is red-blooded. This obviously poses a threat to the silver power. It also really rises people's spirits in hope of a revolution, in hope for change, in hope for a better future really. I thought it was really well described how exactly Mir was a threat to the silver power. I thought it was very realistic how the king and queen of the kingdom dealt with this problem. The love triangle was something that I felt really didn't need to be in the book. I could have really gone well without it. Although we do get attached to some characters, what happens in the end really makes you think about the whole entire novel. All I can reveal is that you really, really should be on the lookout for everyone Mare is associated to. I really like the main character in her wittiness and how she wasn't serious when she was supposed to be serious. She has this wittiness to herself. She really doesn't know when to stop being sarcastic and ironic. I think it makes for a really interesting reading experience because she is literally being scolded by the king and queen of the kingdom, yet she's all there answering sarcastic things. I'm really, really excited for the second one, and the thing is, the second one can be very, very good or be a complete disappointment because now that the revolution part is over, we have to do with the consequences of the revolution. The book can kind of be one of those books that nothing happens or it can be a quick paced, really action filled novel and I really hope it's the latter because I have high expectations for the second installment. Red Queen, a novel I really enjoyed. I felt Red Queen had the perfect blend of dystopian because it is set in a dystopian society. Kind of science fiction with all the silver powers coming into play which I really enjoyed. I thought it really added to the story and obviously some historical elements because because going back to the contrast between reds and silvers, it assimilates back to medieval times in which you have the nobles living with such expense and luxury and then the people in complete misery. We also have the kings and the queens and the princes, the courts, the castle, very historic e elements to it. I thought that this blend is what made the novel unique and original. It adds so many things that you just really don't see coming together but actually blend perfectly in the book. A fantastic mixture that makes up for a great novel, recommended, and let's wait for the second installment, hope that it's better. That is it for my opinions and thoughts on Red Queen. If you've read this book, definitely share your opinion down below. Are you excited for the second book? I'm pretty sure you are. If you would like to see more book chats like these, it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next videos and remember to keep your day a bookish one. Goodbye!